Archer's Stats and Sumps, parts of the LXL GCSE 91 Geography course. Okay, so the keywords you're going to have to know for this are headland, weathering, which in this case is freeze thaw, erosion, hydraulic action and abrasion. Okay, caves, arch, collapse, stack and stump. Okay, so it starts off with a joint. Okay, the headland of rock is weathered away through freeze, thaw, weathering. Okay, and this creates joints in the rock. Okay, so as you can see, you've got the joint here, which is caused by freeze, thaw, weathering. Okay, this joint is targeted through hydraulic action, abrasion, and destructive waves. Okay, this expands the joint and over time creates a cave. So you can see here, the joint has been expanded through erosion and it's created a cave. Okay, next you have the arch. When the cave is eroded further, it can break through to the other side of the headland and this creates an arch. So it's gone all the way through, you've got the sea. Going all the way through, you can see the sky. So it's obviously an arch, it's broken all the way through. Okay, and the headland is uh, now got an arch in it. Okay, stack. As the rock becomes more eroded, the overhang on the arch becomes larger. Okay, when the over, uh, overhang can no longer be supported, arch collapses. So this bit here, it's gonna get uh, weathered away. Okay, and as it becomes weaker and weaker, it becomes less supported, the arch gets bigger, it's suddenly just going to collapse. Okay, so this leaves a stack, as you can see here. Okay, stacks are resistant to weathering and erosion, as they're often the most resistant rock of the headlands, as they've obviously survived all this erosion and weathering so far. Okay, so this is going to be some pretty tough rock. Okay, and then you're left with a stump. As time goes on, the stack becomes eroded and weathered, okay? And when the stack becomes too small, it's considered a stump. So usually it's about when it's a third of the height of the headland, it's considered a stump, okay? And these can be small island-like rocks, okay? And often they're covered at high tide, so you can no longer see them. So this is obviously low tide because you can see it, but it might be high tide, you can't see this stump anymore. So a great named example of this is Old Harry Rocks, the Isle of Pum, uh, Purbeck in Dorset. It's made of chalk. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And what's so good about this is that you can see the whole, uh, all the different types. So you've got the joints, which you can see all along. You've got cave here. You've got an uh, arch here. And then you've got stump, a uh, stack here. You've got stump here. Okay. So it's a really good example. If you show that, if you show that the examiner you know the named example, it's just going to boost you up, and it's going to show the examiner you know what you're talking about. It's going to get you some extra marks.